All right, here's another uh, night shift with Steve video. So it's uh, fall now, so everything is dark shortly after supper, if not before. So we're going to be testing this. Uh, I would say it's a glow plug relay, but it's not. It's a grid heater relay. So I had one here, and it was uh, operating. You could hear it clunk, but it wasn't passing current. So uh, once your engine is warm, it's not going to operate whatsoever. So I've got my uh, scan tool set up. You could probably do this with Alpha, Alpha OBD as well. So when you get hooked up to uh, the truck, you're going to go into the cold, into the uh, cold a start a driver output. So now we're going to uh, toggle it on. It clunked. It's just a short clunk. Um, so if you have a a multimeter from your battery terminal down to the uh, cable side going around your engine over to the uh, grid heater you're going to have that uh, current or voltage come up so now it is working so that's good and they don't it doesn't hold the uh, relay closed for a long period of time which is good because you're not trying to kill the battery that's not the purpose of the test so if you are going to change this, all you need to do is pull out your uh, air filter box. So it's an 8mm to get the uh, clamp off of the hose there. And you pop off the connectors. There's a fastener up here on the um, core support. Mine's stripped out, so I don't know what size it is. But you just lift out the assembly. There's three cords connected to it. And uh, it's easy as that. Then there's a two Torx screws holding on the uh, relay to the battery box. The screws are about a half an inch long and uh, it's 13 millimeter for the uh, nuts to take them off. So in my case uh, the nuts are damaged and they don't go on and off by hand anymore and they're lock nuts with like a serrated tip on the end. So I just got some stainless um, nuts with some stainless lock washers and uh, put those on there because the, the replacement relay does not come with any fasteners and I highly recommend you buy a OEM relay because if this uh, contact uh, arcs and gets jammed it's going to be leaving like a 200 and some amps of load going to your uh, grid heater continuously until your truck burns down and uh, Ram has learned that the hard way with a few different models of trucks so you don't want that to happen so they've learned the hard way already and they got a, a good product here this should last a long time so I highly recommend you just stick with the, the OEM part I'll put a, a link in the description of the video so you can find one um, and I think that's really all there is to it if you don't have uh, alligator clips for your multimeter I do recommend you get them. They're super handy. Then you don't, uh, well, they replace two hands. So that's how they're handy. So uh, that makes life a bit easier. So uh, I'm off to the races. I'm not going to have that code anymore. It's one of the scary codes saying that uh, you got a problem with your grid heater. So when you do get that code, you should immediately go in here and check the condition of the uh, grid heater bolt that's going into the engine and see it's not burned off or something but in my case it was just a, a bad relay not passing any current so thanks for watching